Welcome back to another episode of Xcom 2 Long War 2. This will actually, we're actually not going to be doing Operation Empty Hammer. And let me be honest with you, I've tried this mission four times and I've failed every single one of them. And I think it's be and it's mostly because the current enemy activity is light and moderate, and also because we're in India, where our advent activity Heading level is high, five. and that basically India. means that with the with the team composition I have, it's actually it's actually just Hang not on. basically equipped to deal with whatever what whatever is there. Avenger so I'm gonna do the same thing. Gonna 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 recall my team, and then we're just gonna push on with what we have. Okay, so we've got a stockade. We've got a new engineer, which is great. Um, we can definitely pop that engineer into the defense matrix. Not the, maybe not the proving ground so much. All right, pop you in there. You you'll be out there pretty soon, and then um, we'll get back to the globe. Okay, so. See, you see, advent strength is seven. That means that, that means some of the mobs that we were dealing with were actually significantly, like, powerful, annoying, and just difficult to deal with. With the team of six, especially a team that basically was uh, a bunch of like not so great people, so to speak. So, um, yeah, I don't like it. You probably hate that decision as well, and um, it's unfortunately something I've had to. Uh, do for this time, time, time round. So, Intel, Intel. All right. Now, oh, I, nope. That's the HQ assault. I can't actually scan the area for some reason. But I think I was making contact, or I could make contact over here. Um, we definitely want to make contact with uh, Eastern. Oh, the Eastern US can only make contact with there. Okay. So it would be 160 Intel. We can't hurt. We've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Which Attempting is... to establish local regional contact. Oh boy, new target. Uh, Morbid Father. Okay. Uh, we get a new rookie. We get two new. No. Two resistors. But uh, you know what? Let's just click that for first. The Western U.S. precinct. And then we'll we'll see, we'll see how we go. So, that is a lot of people. Well, if you'll give me a moment. Alright, we're going in with another sneaky sneaky team. Unfortunately, Spark Plug Reynolds is not quite the sneaky sneaky shinobi we he we're headed for, but it should really not be too much of a worry. Of course, we're going with Assault since we don't have a... We don't have a specialist on hand for us to take advantage of the... What's the name? So, with, with, without further ado, we'll just send them off. Actually, I might just equip that SMG with a suppressor. There we go, that makes life a bit easier, and you know, we'll be done much more quickly. Of course, uh, we're making use of the new ablative armor. Gives three ablative armor points, and um, which is, you know, probably, it's an improvement, but um, not that much of an improvement, I suppose. But otherwise, it could be worse, so we'll, we'll just keep that going. So we'll make contact. We'll Eastern continue to United assume States. making contact, and hopefully, uh, I actually wonder what North America's bonus is. Like Marcus pays 20, 25 for Actually, there's actually a a contact which. Oh, this is the one we want. We could cost zero supplies. Well, that's a shame because uh, we, we'll definitely hit for this one next. Because right now we need to get the black site. So fortunately, we have to actually get that going. So new target acquired. Hello. Three days, twenty-two hours rescue. A VIP from an app and sell on free an important prisoner. We get a shinobi. Hello. Setting course for sector nine. We would def United States. We would definitely want to get to, to that one. So, if you excuse me again. All right. Well, if we are import, if we are rescuing a shinobi, a very valuable addition to our team. It's only natural that we're sending our top set, our top support specialist who had just recently recovered from wounds. So I will be very happy to get the ball rolling and send this team off. So three days, twenty-one hours. So I'm actually wondering if I could add another suppressor. No, we could probably add an advanced suppressor on one of them, couldn't we? Actually, oh. Okay, we've got a bunch of... Yeah, we can do that. Let me just see the weapon upgrade or... No, actually, no, let's reduce that. Let's put an advanced suppressor on. And we can put a suppressor on this guy. Uh, no, we want weapon upgrade. We want a suppressor. And two days, 13 hours. That's much That's much better. So they'll, they'll be able to get in much quicker. They'll be able to sort of just pop in, pop out. 
not too much worry, and um, hopefully we'll be able to get a one-up over our enemy. There we go, and um, yeah, so it's nice to get the ball rolling on these missions, so um, okay. Oh, that's, okay, view soldier, that's fine. Welcome boy Amy, you're our new gunner, though I really need gunners to be better aim. Um, let's, do we have, do we actually have any real keys right now? Uh, we've got one in the armory, and then we've got a few soldiers. Um, we do have a rookie, you're Anish Jadov. So, you've got actually, no, wait. Uh, okay, you've got 67 aim. Um, we need a, I really want a gunner with high aim, so with a rookie with 67, it's like not really useful to us right now. Feels like I could make you a grenadier because we've only got five right now. Feels, feels like we should need more. We've only got four gunners. Oh, that sucks. Um, got a lot more. We could use. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so many specialists, so many technicals. Okay, um. You're gonna be a grenadier. I think that's pretty obvious. So we will. Oh, we do have one grenadier in the pipe, but um, sure, we can always do, we can always have more with us. So begin training, and we'll get the ball rolling some more. Uh, it is finished making contact. Eastern United States. You know, another mission's just gonna pop up within a few hours, and they will interrupt me again. What do I tell you? <laughs> Okay, so hack the witch lane's advent facility finally. Oh, we just we just put our course for the Indian regional zone. We just put our we just put our only available specialist for that mission, so that's a bother. But in the least, I can actually go in with the team. So if you excuse me, once again. All right, this looks to be our team. Fairly solid team of six. Uh, one grenadier, and one technical. So plenty of people to blow things up and do damage and sneak around. And um, but of course we've got no um, we've got no specialists. So unfortunately we can't take can't take really advantage of the hack. But hopefully we've got plenty of people who can shoot, plenty of people who can hit, and hopefully this mission should be a relative breeze. So off they go, and hopefully good things will come. Now, sort of the annoying thing is that we haven't really kind of just gotten quite into a mission just yet, so no doubt, no doubt, I will get one done before we finish this video. All right. Oh, we've got a jailbreak over there, one hundred forty percent, which is actually, you know what? We should probably do that right now. We're gonna sneaky sneaky team. Oh, that's more sneaky sneaky team. All right. Well, that works for me. So. So we should probably head right. So, so we should probably head right into it. So um yeah. So okay. So it's gonna be, pretty you know pretty short mission hopefully. So let's go. I'm a bit annoyed. I didn't actually see that earlier because it would have been nice to have a specialist back on the other mission. So, but nevertheless we'll see what happens. So Operation Spider God rescue captive resistance contact and extract all XCOM soldiers will be a sneaky sneaky mission no doubt not a very interesting one to watch but nevertheless still um still fun to me in terms of tactics because basically i feel with sneaky sneaky missions that uh, the tactics tend sometimes feel a bit straightforward but um ultimately it's still you still kind of have to adjust the situation you know take your chances and make you gamble so i still find merit in those stealth missions of course i fully understand why some people don't like them because it feels like you're not really fighting it's more like you're trying to do things through espionage, but I feel like, you know, while while you're an underground organization trying to get back at Advent, which is like, you know, the big bad enemy, I think it's only really worthwhile that sometimes you have to do things sneakily to really get out there. Hi, so we've got two Shinobi and a Specialist, so hopefully they both can move and, uh... Okay, that's our cell. How many people we gonna save? Just two, and then the evac is, as usual, Position right outside. Sealed. Okay, so uh, first, uh, always we always move with Callum first, because if he gets revealed, then our shinobi will still be Hostiles in the cell. Okay, so they're kind of just right in the middle, so we will need to watch where they go and then uh, figure out what to do from there. So uh, kind of just have to go straight and then just like the building, just probably. Okay, so it's this kind of building. Oh, this is... I don't like this building. So there's probably a door back there, and then we can just run straight to the back. But, um... I, I, noting that we don't have Oscar Mike on our Shinobi, so we definitely don't want to overdo things on this first turn. 
and we definitely don't, definitely don't want to overdo things in general. <laughs> if there's any, if there's any kind of life advice. Oh, that's a drone. Uh, that's lovely. So we should be wary on both sides, I suppose. Um, I guess the question is where would the drone go next? That's what I don't know. So, like, I don't want to risk the, risk the possibility of the drone, like, coming along that way and getting be flanked. And, oh, sorry, I can't, like, move down here because if they move that way, then, um, she's stuck as well. So... It looks like... We're just gonna have to sit, sit here and twiddle our thumbs. I've got my eyes on. Okay. Hopefully our specialist has room to move. I don't know about the drone though. Okay. Nope, that gi that gives us that gives us a window. Okay, we've got a wide big window that we should definitely take advantage of. Affirmative. Moving out. Assuming everything goes well. No no more hostiles, okay. We can definitely get into this building. The only problem is No, it's not really a problem. So yep, I'm pretty sure we can just head over here. Heading there now. You can equally skirt across this way. Stepping off. Now we don't need we, uh because we can't see like any mobs coming in from the side, we shouldn't be too worried. So uh, though admittedly there was a lot of balls he made he made to get there. So I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty this has been a pretty quick one so far. Now, we don't see anybody, and those guys are on the other side, so we kind of want to get through here, hack, and then um, get out. The only problem is that uh, we might not... Okay. Oh, looks like we can hack something. Uh, oh, precision. I don't think that's going to be useful, actually, so we'll get over here. Moving to designated coordinates. Then I'll Shinobi over here as well. Affirmative. And then we'll open the door, peek in, see what happens, and then that will decide whether, how we make our next move. Actually, I should have kept them separate. So, uh, let's open the door. Okay. Alright, there's actually civilians there, which is not great. Oh, there we go. Um, there's actually civilians here, which is not great. Uh, where do we have to hack the door open? Oh, from that side. That's quaint. Alright, um... Well, we need someone to scout ahead, so we pop the ghost walker now. Don't have to worry about civilians. Heading out. We got a hostile squad here. That's not good. Okay, um... Need to, need us to know to keep an eye on them. But Zulu kind of just needs to be able to run, like, across. So, if he makes it hasty that way, that's not going to work, so... I'm going to make him... And then see how far he can run. Okay. So, he can make it over there, that's great. Ah. Um, and then the door is... Oh, okay, the door is right over there, okay. The problem is, if these guys move this way, we're going to be very, very stuck. So, I need to figure out an alternative way in. It looks like there's actually another door here. Oh, we'll be silly not to take advantage of that. Okay, so while you've got Ghost Walker, you can definitely... Roger that. Okay, uh... Should be fine, and then we'll get you over here. And then ideally, you open the door, hack the door remotely, and then we'll get everyone out, like through, I guess, through these windows. Okay, so we need our Shinobi in a place where she can keep an eye on them. So we basically want her to watch this this part. So we'll get her back here. Moving to position. And we'll see what happens. Okay, they're coming towards us, which is not great. But we should have ample time to get out, basically. So, open. We can hack. Watch this, or precision. Okay. Let's do security. 
Now, note that this reveals our specialist, but not our shinobi. So, reduce the contact cost from acquiring advanced PCS. Um, let's try the PCS. Yeah! Well, we'll take that. Oh, yeah. No, um, I don't think it actually specifies what we get. So, now he's revealed. And we gotta keep that door closed, otherwise... We gotta keep that door closed, otherwise that mob will actually spy, spy everyone, so... Um... Now, it doesn't look like there's actually cover over that way, which is kind of annoying, but... Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. The only problem is, is like... Um... The only problem is it's gonna take two turns, two yellow runs to actually get there. It is clear. So, it's not really the greatest of, um, opportunities. So, get you running over here. Amit, how much further can you run? Not... Okay, and we'll get you to... No. Oh, you can't, you can't break out of the windows, otherwise that will... That will cause attention. So, we're just gonna get you to open the door. And then you gotta sneak out with the rest, I guess. But, that means you... you target location. That means you need to, you need to actually move first. And then no, we don't we don't want you going out the window. Otherwise, that will that will cause some attention, some unwanted attention. Okay, Shinobi, still in concealment. We need you to see what's going on. Moving to designated position. Okay, uh, do I get, where do I put you? Where do I put you? There's civilians over here, but I don't know. I basically need to know if they can see through this, this window. So it makes sense for me to put my shinobi here. Can I see anything? No, I can't. That's interesting. So we're going to make a wide berth all the way down here, I suppose. And that should hopefully keep us safe for now. Okay, that's safe. I uh, should really should put you behind the car, but we need we need the distance. Zulu. Location confirmed. So far, so good. Okay, we need us to know to keep an eye on. To that location. Anyone on the outside? No? Okay, we can keep sneaking across this way. Sneaky sneaky. On the move. And hopefully our civilians resistance contacts. Potential new recruits can run that bar as well. Okay, so far so good. Let's get you over here. Okay. What's making that noise? Oh, you know what's making that noise. Alright, um, can the recruits make, can the recruits make it? Oops. Oh, not this one. Alright, fine. Zulu, you will just get there, there for a nice little overwatch, just in case. Affirmative. Covering now. You can go up. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. And you can go and overwatch too, even though it won't do anything. It would be interesting if, like, if they discovered the cell and then are now on yellow alert. So, oh no, actually no, I don't want, don't want to bring I you up just yet. Here. Okay, well, that was easy. The only, the only problem is that um, our specialist might not be. Oh really? <laughs> well, let's hope they don't. They don't. They do not get a shot. So goodbye, Evan. It's I'll been go. very, very fun toying with you. Head no. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Not much to say. That went. That went just as well as we could have hoped it to. So uh, no doubt, we, no doubt, stealth missions are kind of just easy to do. Especially when you got two people. I know some people like to send a single single shinobi, but that's really not my jam because like if you send a single shinobi as soon as soon as she opens the door, as soon as she hacks open the door, 
Um, she gets rebuilt, and we're not taking advantage of Phantom, so that's why I always send two people. And this time we've actually got a bonus PCS with us, so hopefully that's something we can put to use. If not, we can always sell it for some supplies, and that will get our, uh, our, um, I suppose at this point our sky, blah, 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 our rooms going, because we are definitely going to need extra, extra communication stations, and, and as well as extra other things. Mostly weapons as well. And I um, definitely need to get 50 supplies before the next research project, so that will be something to keep in mind. Of course, um, it feels like I'm just starved of supplies, so it's, it's, um, it feels a bit contentious, but um, now that... I'm pleased when the troops return without any reported casualties. We can't hope for a better outcome. Well, let's not count our lucky, lucky, lucky stars before the hatch, so we'll grab, grab that airdrop, and uh, we'll continue. So, advanced perception plus 5 aim, which is great. We've got two VIPs. They don't look like soldiers. I'm not sure. Uh, just double check, real soldiers. Um, doesn't say the rookies. Say it's recruit. No, okay, that's fine. So, looks like we don't have to worry about that too much. So, we can at least keep on scanning, I suppose. Um, yeah, making contact. We can definitely do that. For the Eastern US Precinct. Sometimes I feel like maybe I shouldn't be discovering new places so quickly. Um, because it's like... I could be overburdening. And impossible fuel tougher combat unit with the bonus hit point. Lovely. Um Skarjack is complete. Skarjack allows to hack into the with a temporary resting control over beans augments, although any access gain is sure to be short lived. Skull mining indeed. So We're continuing the story. Hello. Oh boy. I am excited and I am scared. So we got battle scanners coming up in five days. Okay, that's pretty good. Defense facility now operational. All right, increases effective effectiveness of automated defenses. It's looking good. Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna stick our spare engineer in here while we can. So I just like basically I have to worry about um because I don't need the workshop, oh, I need to purchase upgrades, okay, for an additional workbench, so that could be one of the things we spend next, but we really do need supplies, it's kind of annoying. Alright, so we got Oscar, we got Oscar Mike on another, on another soldier, so let's see what, what other officer abilities we can train, so the, the other thing I figured out is that um, Shinobis are pretty good as officers, so we may as well train another one with Oscar Mike, and then um, even though, yeah, we probably could use more Shinobis, but Oh well. Um, until I figure out what other what other um, units are good for good for training as officers, uh, that's that's I suppose that's that we'll have to do really. All right. So that Oscar jail breaks up one hundred percent. So we we're, we're definitely going to do that ASAP. So um, yeah, I guess this is where we'll wrap up the video. So as always, thank you for watching. Sorry for the somewhat uh, upside down nature of the video, and um, because. Uh, there was things that happened, and um, since I basically have to try and at least get out, well, it's my, it, I want to get out five XCOM T videos a week, and this, that one mission was definitely holding me back from doing so, so it's one of those things where it's just like, okay, let's just be a scumhead, let's just be, you know, let's cheat the game a little, let's just actually try and work towards the conclusion rather than having to abandon a mission because I decided to be a little too cocky, so yeah, as always, Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video where we will take on Operation Morbid Father. I don't have an ending line for that one.